Hey everyone, we're out here in the bee yard today and I am going to show you uh, my setup for adding some new hives to this hive stand. First, let me talk about the hive stand. So what you're seeing here are just some uh, cinder blocks and I've got three of them. The first one's kind of buried into the ground for some support. Then I've stacked two more on top of that and I uh, adhered them together with the concrete glue in between them. So they're basically just like one, one heavy cinder block. There's just three of them that have been attached with glue. Um, and I've got that obviously on all four corners and there's the groove top and I've got this four by four, two of those that sit right in between them. And then I've got two by fours on either side of the hive um, to keep the hive from being able to move back and forth and to give me attachment points for these uh, ratchet straps to hold the ties, the, the hives down. It gets really windy here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to get some measurements for these two by fours. And then I'm gonna come back out here uh, after I cut them and we're gonna attach them here for the six frame nuke and attach them here for the 10 frame apame. And I'll bring the hives out here with me and set them on the stand so I know exactly uh, how far apart to put these two by fours. So uh, go ahead and uh, hang out with me while we get this done. And uh, if you have any questions about the, the hive stand or anything like that, just let me know. Okay, so we're looking at 20 inch, 20 inch gap should be the same across the board. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut some uh, 20 inch pieces of two by four, and uh, let's go do that right now. All right guys, we're out here in my driveway. I'm gonna go ahead and measure these, uh, measure this two by four, mark it, cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the marks all the way down the board. So 20 inches was our measurement. So I just made a dash mark every 20 inches. And then I'm gonna make this cut and we'll have four pieces because we need four pieces for two hives. When I cut this, uh, don't worry about your ears. I'll make sure to significantly decrease the volume for this section or just mute the cut entirely. There's one. There's the second one. Two more cuts and we'll be done with this part. All right, so there we have four of these 20 inch pieces of two by four. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I have enough paint left over and I'm gonna paint these pieces before I bolt them down. If not, I'll get them bolted down and I'll take care of the paint later. Let me show you the hardware I'm gonna use. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I just got these two by fours cut. As you can see there on the left side of the screen, four of them at 20 inches each. We need two for each of the hives that we're going to be setting up. And then I'm gonna show you the hardware that I'm gonna to use to get this done. So these are the screws that I'm gonna be using. They're exterior screws, they're three inches long. These are what I used uh, for the first hive. And then this is the hook that I will be securing into the sides of the 2x4 that will be used as anchor points uh, for the uh, ratchet straps to keep the hive secure. So now that we've got all everything that we need here, let's get all this material out there to the hive stand and get started on the install. All right, guys, we're back out here. I think I have everything I need with me. I've got... Uh, my impact driver with a T25 Torx bit. And then I've got my, my uh, screws here. So first thing I'm gonna do is flush this two by four that we cut all the way to the end of the hive stand. And I'm gonna screw that down.
these screws do come with a T25 Torx bit in there if you need it. So I'm just going to do uh, probably one screw on each end. Let's start back here. I'm just going to get that started and then I'm going to start this front one. Okay. Finish this one off. I guess if the bees are in a bad mood, we're going to find out real quick. This impact driver is getting a pretty good vibration going through the stand. Okay, so now that I've got that one in, all I'm going to do is move this Apame hive all the way over and flush it up against that. And then I'm going to take another 2x4 and I'm going to just push it right up against that Apame hive. I may, I'm going to do a little bit of space so it's not just completely smashed in there, but so let me take it off from over there. I do want it to be pretty, pretty secure in between there. Okay. All right. And it does have a wobble, so I am going to have to put some, I'm going to put some shims at the back anyway, so it has a slight forward tilt. Let me get two more screws. When I first designed this stand, it was meant to hold three hives, so there should be enough room. There would be enough room for another 10 frame here, but I'm just putting this six frame nuke, so we'll definitely have a lot of room. Okay, that's nice and secure. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna set this, uh, actually I need to measure the distance between these so that I can, I wanna put this other hive directly in the middle. So we've got uh, 25 and 25 and a quarter between there. get this set up here all right y'all have already seen me uh, secure the two by fours on this apame side so now I've secured the two by fours to where the six frame nuke is going to go and I'm going to show you the eyelet installation. So just start a little pilot hole over here so that you can get this going and then you're just going to twist it in. You just got to get it to bite. That's what the pilot hole is supposed to help you with. I can feel it trying to bite. It's just an awkward spot right here with this other two by four so close. There it goes. All right. This is going to be really hard to spin in by hand. I brought these, which is how I secured these other pilot holes that you can see. And I just kind of put it in there and I just spun it around like this. 
So there we go, should work. So when you start, what I would advise after doing it is drill your pilot hole before you secure the two by four down. And then that way, because I had to drill the pilot hole with these two by fours in the way, so I had to come in at a down angle. And that's why it started this eye just a little crooked, but it's not gonna matter. We're not, these aren't meant to hold a bunch of pressure. When I put these ratchet straps on there, I don't crank them down. I just, just snug them just so that the hive won't tip over in the wind. Here in Oklahoma, we, we need this extra wind security. I've seen plenty of hives fall over in the wind out here, so. Put that right there, okay. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna make you watch it, because you just did, and then I'll cut back in and show you what it looks like with all the hives up here. All right, everyone, there it is, the finished product. So, I'm excited. I'm gonna do a split into that six frame nuke that you see in the middle. It's gonna come from the hive on the right. And then once they get strong, I'm going to move them over into that 10 frame Apame, and that will be their new home there. And then I will do another split later in the season back into that six frame nuke. And those two are gonna furnish my new queen. So the six frame nuke will probably get the Caucasian cause it's not gonna be here until May, but the Carniolan that comes in April will go in the Apame hive after it after it maxes out that nuke in the middle. So the timing on it should be perfect. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.